six one at Newcastle last year, but still the first time Andrew Morrow played at the right back in the back four. And I think that kind of coloured the perception from outside the club that you couldn't do that. You needed a kind of specialist wing back. Um, you started Emerson in the first game there. I mean, did, did you ever have any concerns that, that Pedro could play the role he's playing now? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, after working with him, obviously during the preseason, I thought he, both him and Emmy. I mean, I think all, all of our fullbacks. So, you know, obviously, you know, we play that role a little bit differently. So there's sort of sort of some different characteristics you look for. And I thought with the lads we had here, I thought that was one area of the pitch that we had some some really good sort of reinforcements in. But no, I, I really, yeah, you know, I really enjoyed <coughs> working with Pedro right from the start. He's got great energy. He's very very good technically. Um, you know, he's really eager to learn. You know, he's done a lot of work on his defensive work with um, with Wellesley and, and, and the defensive unit as a group. And I think he's benefited from that and, and he's sort of grown into it. Um, and I still think there's a lot more growth in him because, you know, I, th I think he's tackling the defensive side of his job, which probably was the one thing that maybe people had some scepticism around. Obviously, when you play as a wing back, you don't need to defend, particularly in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But I think he's... He's been outstanding this year, you know, dealing with you know some pretty good wingers in this league. Um, you know, rarely has been has he been sort of left short on that, and uh, and he's wanting to learn. So no, I mean I I think there's a lot more in him, and um, you know, really pleased that you know he's kind of embraced um, the way we play our football. And another player that came after me was James Butler, who's taken off the team five nil down after 21 minutes. Um, can you just talk about the kind of player you found in, in pre-season and, and kind of how you see his development potential? Yeah, um, again, Pape, um, you know, just just a super energy about him. You know, every day he trains and you know trains with a smile on his face, but he works damn hard. And he's a really, I think he's a really exciting footballer. You know, he he, he he's one of these midfielders who you need these days. Who are very dynamic, covers the ground really well. Uh, Defensively, offensively, um, you know, gets into the box. He's scored a couple of goals for us this year. He's, you know, his technical ability is, is strong, and you know, he's a good ball carrier as well. And, and he's still young. I feel that he's another one that's just so much more growth in um, from all aspects. And I just really like his his kind of just general demeanour. I think you know he he feels like he's kind of been blessed to have this opportunity and he's going to make everything, you know, do everything to, to, to make the most out of it. And um, it's great to have him as part of the group. He's obviously, you know, he's, he's very popular within the group because of his, just his nature, you know, and, um, but he's a hell of a footballer. I, I've got a lot of time for Pape and I think, again, he's another one where there's just a lot of growth there, you know, from what I see. Yeah, can I just check, has he been kind of impacted by the fasting from Ramadan? Yeah, look, it's always it's always a bit of a challenge for for, for the, the players, but you know they you know their beliefs that you know they feel very strongly about, and we try and support them in the best way we can. And um, you know he's 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 gone about his you know his football still diligently, and um, you know gone through what he needs to go through. And um, yeah, now it's 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 sort of it's over, and um, I'm sure for him it'll it'll sort of allow him now to get back to the levels he needs to get to. Tom. Just picking up on Dan's question about Pedro, um, one of the highlights of the first half of the season was watching Pedro and Desk in particular uh, and Dijon impact going forward when you played the same with James Madison as well. Of late, perhaps from a numbers point of view, not having quite as big an attacking impact. Do you think a lot of that is to do with teams starting to adapt to something like that? No, I don't think so. I think I said after the game that I think We've been working with Pedro and, and, and Destiny in particular. I think they're still getting into some great areas. You know, probably haven't had the output, but I think uh, you know I think I've been consistent in saying all year. And our front third, you know, a lot of our players still you know still a long way to go in terms of where we want to be. Um, but no, I still think. I mean, Pedro scored last week. I think um, you know Destiny was in the box when he scored. So you know we. I still think it's a, you know, it's still an effective sort of way for us to 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 get through opposition teams with the quality those two players have. Different qualities in terms of the way they they kind of get into those attacking thirds. But um, no, it's just stuff we we we're working on with them constantly, and again we're seeing some improvement. Under you. One of the things he also 
you said was that um, you don't do much tactical work, but you kind of read as me and work on the opposition rather than your team. But I don't know how, what, what do you think you meant by that? And, and why, or why, do you, why do you sort of focus more on how you attack rather than perhaps the, the opposition? Does that feel like reading? I don't know, it's probably something you have to ask Eric. I mean, I, I don't know what you mean by tactical work. I think all we do is work on... Everything's geared around how we're going to play our football. So, for me, that by extension is tactical work. So, whether that's on us, whether that's on the, the opposition... Um, in fact, I'd probably say we don't do anything apart from tactical work. That's all we do every day. If we're working on our fitness, it's still trying to play our football. So. But I, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the interview, so I'm not sure what he's referencing. But yeah, you know, if you're talking about, you know, do we sort of do training where we're we're kind of standing around and, and, and working on how we're going to stop an opposition, how we're going to break down? No, I don't do that. But I don't think that's the only kind of tactical work that exists. There's other kind of tactical work. But I think anyone who trains with us will tell you that all we do is train the way we play. So. If, I mean, maybe that's not tactical work, I don't know. It's, it's not for me to answer. Uh, and just finally, um, Harry Kane left in the summer, um, decided to have his heart to, to leave the club and the project that you were embarking on with, with you was making winning trophies at Bayern Munich. Obviously, they're still in the Champions League. There's a chance they could still do it, but there's also a chance they could have won. There's been a little bit of shouting for it, perhaps, behind it amongst Spurs fans and fans of the wider Base about, uh, about that not potentially happening. Do you think if he doesn't win any trophies, it's, it's, it's sort of a fair comment not to view that as a No, I don't think that's fair because I, I uh, and I, I'm not going to speak for Harry for God's sake, but I don't think that's the only reason he left. I, I think he was pretty clear that he wanted a different experience. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. I've, that's been my whole career. He was at one club for a very long time. He was at a point where he, he either makes a decision to become stay one club man, which is which is fair enough, or he can experience something different as a footballer, um, maybe as a person. I don't know. Again, it's questions for him. So I, I don't get this as just a notion of that he just moved just to win things. I don't think if he had stayed here, he didn't think he was going to win things. So I just think you know he wanted a different experience, and he's getting that. You know, and I'm sure you know he'll he'll. You know, at the end of his career, you know, if, if you know that was his reasoning behind it, I think he'll he'll find that you know he he does it gives you, you know, a, a real broad experience about f what football's about, what life's about. So yeah, I, I don't think that's 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 fair on him. But ultimately, all these decisions you make um, about your personal career, you know, I know every decision I've made in my career, you know. It's very hard for other people sometimes to understand because they're not living my life. You know, they're not with my family, they're not with the people around me to, to know why you come to these decisions. So, and they're very rarely around too many simplistic things. You know, most of the time, you know, there's a whole range of factors you, you kind of put into it. Kieran. <coughs> not interested in, in sort of putting a limit on that because, um, as you said, four years ago, you know, if somebody maybe said to him one day, you know, your goal should be to play in the Premier League, well, he's done it at 22, then there's a potential there for him to sort of say, oh, well, I've done. So I think with all these things, you never put limits on it. Uh, but, yeah, you know, he's, look, he's done he's done brilliantly. And, and the growth in again in him is another one. I mean, that's the exciting thing for me with this group is that we've got a real core that I just think there's still so much growth in them because invariably it's their, either their first season in the Premier League or they're still young in age and, um, and you know, they've adapted so well and, and, they're, and they're at a big club where there still are expectations so it's not like they're going to fly under the radar by, you know, doing two or three years and then moving to a big club. You know, they're, they're under the spotlight straight away, whether that's... You know, Vic in goal, or, or Mickey, or Brennan, or the, you know, Destiny, Pape, these guys who we brought in, um, you know, kind of this year. Um, and, you know, Mickey falls, but, and again, the beauty of it is he just wants more. And I, I said 
during the week, you know, it's up to us to, to make sure that we don't stunt his growth by putting a limit on you know, how good he can be. Um, so, um, look, he's, he's, he's been fantastic for us this year and he's continually to grow and, and where that takes him, um, you know, hopefully it's beyond whatever he has in his mind or anyone else has in their mind. Yeah, and it's not easy, um, particularly when you're talking about you know the toughest competition you know, in the world, club competition. So, so you know, I have been pleased with that, with the way that a lot of the guys have just really accepted the challenge of you know playing for the club and 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 you know sort of challenging them to play in a certain way that's going to expose them in many respects, but them not shying away from that because the way we played that again, you know whether it's Mickey or Vic or <coughs> all those guys I mentioned, um, you know, it kind of puts them right out there in terms of, you know, they have to sometimes defend without any cover or attack without any support or, or just do things that are going to be a real challenge for them and they've embraced that. And um, I said that's the exciting bit for me that, that you know, that, that also the responsibility I have is that you know, there's, there's a good core in there that have still got so much more that they can give and uh, at the same time they've, they've already sort of equipped themselves really well. Nah, nah. I, 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 look, I, I probably watched... I think I watched Sunderland Till I Die. That was good. And the rest of them are a bit... Nah, 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 no, 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 because I just think it becomes a bit manufactured, I think, you know, you'd, I'd be very surprised if you get a real sort of behind the scenes, but I mean, there's, there's, I look, you know, who am I to say, I'm no movie critic, but maybe people like them, but not for me, like, if I, I love documentaries, but, nah. Nah, nah, well, unless you want a cure for insomnia, mate, you can... <laughs> Put it on late at night and just dream yourself away. Finish with John, please. I was going to ask you something similar because you said you didn't watch the something daft. <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't watch the six one. I mean, some managers might have thought it would be useful to see a squad go back to inherit at their worst, as much as seeing them at their best scoring goals and winning games. You didn't go for it. No, no, I don't think that. I'd be very surprised if people. I mean, I. My sort of research on it was more on the individual players. So I might have watched individual players in that game, but I wouldn't have watched the game as a reference point because it's it's totally different. It's a you know, different set of circumstances, different manager, different. You don't under again. I, you know, I'm rare. I'm really reticent to, to judge and and try and figure out what somebody else is doing because I'm not in their shoes on a daily basis. So I, I've I've never used those kind of things. And also, I know that irrespective of what's happened in the past, probably. More than likely, I'm brought. I'm being brought in to do something differently. So, like I said, I mean, I, I you know, I, I would have watched all the players individually through the whole season and got my research on the players I was inheriting. But there wasn't a lot for me to be gained by <coughs> watching sort of matches and trying to get again some reference points as to how that's going to affect what I'm going to do. He's a superstar, mate. You're, you're right. I, I, I look. I've, I've said it before. I think, I think he's world class. I think he could, you know, to do it as long as he has in in the Premier League. Um, as you said, uh, and, and this year, you know, he missed a fair few games with the Asian Cup, and that's happened a couple of times in his journey here. Um, Travelling to the other side of the world, representing his national team, never missing a beat there either, and and to keep producing those kind of numbers. Oh, I could, you know, I put him right up there, and and you know, again, I think there's still more to come from him in terms of, you know, I don't think, I don't see him waning in terms of, 
his abilities or his, his physical capacity. So, you know, uh, if he can keep crunching out those numbers. I, look, I've got no doubt he'll go down as, as one of the greats of the Premier League when he's done. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe because of that, and and I think because of kind of his background playing for career. I think if he played for another national team, because again, I think whatever he does for his national team gets a little bit diminished because it's not a Euros or it's not you know it's not a World Cup qualifier where you know they can sort of measure up. But you know, I think if he was playing for any other national team, sort of in Europe or South America, and I've got no doubt he would play for whatever national team he happened to be um, of that nationality. I think that kind of maybe takes a little bit away from him as well because um, there's always kind of you, you put these reference points and invariably people put in sort of their international records as well to, to sort of rank them as players and I still think he's had an unbelievable international career as well, you know, um, carrying his nation for, for a very long time. But, but that's okay. I mean, I, I don't think... I think when it's all done and dusted, I think that his accomplishments and the manner in which he's gone about it, I think he'll he'll get the accolades he deserves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.